Nothing has been spoiled. Big thank you, by the way, for everybody who has subscribed and who has helped support the channel. Uh, I love bad video games. I love that I'm able to share them, and I'm glad that we are able to give out over $2,000 worth of prizes during the tournament. All of your subs, as well as little tips that you have sent through PayPal have helped a lot. Uh, I still definitely am... Uh, what am I trying to say? It's helped, and it will keep helping, so anybody who wishes to is able to... Is it, uh, No, anybody who is able to, I welcome you. And if you're not able to, just be in here and enjoying the show is fun as well. Will I have a brain for the next match? Hopefully I don't need one, because we got a GM to take care of it. Iron GM, we presented three people to possibly give a game the players voted on a GM if they chose the same GM that's who they got and if they chose different GMs then they ended up with the one that neither of them chose so who are the possible Donkey Kong hello how you doing <laughs> uh, did I spoil things by coming in too early in the chat absolutely I can't believe you would spoil this oh my gosh how could you oh I'm gonna make a huge deal out of this because, uh, because, whatever, whatever. Okay, look, this is how it played out, everybody. blah de blah blah we had these three choices. Our first player chose Trisden, our second player chose Dolewolf, and so they ended up with, <laughs> with Donkey Klonk, who is amazing and who I'm not going to spoil the game ahead of time, okay? Okay, I'm actually gonna do this right. Crappy, take us over. Hey, Donkey Klonk, how you doing? Okay, thanks. My brain, it's so gone. But do I need a brain for this game? Uh, this is more of a brawn game. Oh my gosh. You're reminding me of my favorite, one of my favorite seasons of Survivor. Actually, no, let's switch the picture. There we go, we got a better fi picture. Uh, this definitely is more brawn. Survivor, brains versus brawn versus beauty. The first season that they had that, it was one of the best seasons, highly recommended. Uh, but with that said, yeah, the, no brains needed for this. We've got action. And in fact, I believe this is based off of an action movie starring one of my favorite heroes. Yeah. Uh, definitely. So when I gave out after the war, I said uh, that uh, this game got vetoed, so I gave out a game set in the dystopian future of 2019, and it's featured a massively dude. Well, this game is set in the dystopian future of 2019, and it's featured a massively dude. It's the running man for Amiga. Ah! Amiga! You're not an Amigo if you give an Amiga game. I know this. Uh, the players will have one hour to try to make as much progress through the game as they can. Whoever does takes the victory. Whoever doesn't is eliminated from Cuso Grande. What a sad fate. I assure you, you do not want to get eliminated. Because if you do, how can I give you more bad video games to play? I don't know. How can Donkey Kong make you play more Amiga video games if you get eliminated? I don't know. Uh, Donkey Kong, thank you so much for playing along and like being a good sport with just ribbing me a little bit due to my lack of ability to brain at the moment. Uh, how are you doing? Uh, could be better, but I'm not going to go into details about that. That's fair. Uh, yeah, you can always let us know later on, but uh, I hope that things get better, and I hope that making people suffer can make your day better. Yeah, see, uh, Cusa Grande is not only here to make other people suffer but it's also here to help us feel better as a whole that we aren't playing the games that are being shown on the stream uh so in a way i'd, I'd, I'd say that it's a form of self-care uh this was uh the game i was trying to give uh, during the comcasted match uh, so this has been a bit of a cursed game for me to give out it's been comcasted and it's been vetoed Oh my gosh, but today, no Comcast, no Veto. I have, I've had zero drop frames. I want you to know that we are probably going to be okay. Uh, although Starman Sprite is probably going to be very, very stretched during the match. That's okay. It's sort of a little chubby Starman for Kusa Grande. 
Oh my gosh, but with Starman versus Clades, who is going to take the victory? Who is going to uh, show us the true Running Man action? I don't know. Have you ever seen the movie, though? I know all of it, but uh, no, I haven't seen it. I actually think that it's a lot of fun. It's very cheesy, but uh, I watched it not too long ago, and it was actually still an enjoyable watch. I I'd recommend it if you enjoy watching action movies at all give it a watch and if you don't like arnold schwarzenegger movies then it's not gonna be for you i can definitely say that it is very much an arnold movie oh my gosh this music is so much better than everything that i heard during the last match i'm so happy i'm so happy yeah this is the amiga so you have two channels left and right and you're going to hear them Oh yeah, I've got I've got the music in my right ear right now. I think I need to turn it up a little bit for people so you can hear a few more of the jams. Uh, let me see if the players are ready, because I think I am. I hope. I love that somebody is pointing out the font on this game. I didn't actually think of that, but I've seen fonts similar to this uh, back in the day. There are some fonts for old systems that are nigh unreadable, that like look like an exaggerated version of this font right here. <laughs> Both of the players are ready, by the way. So let's go ahead and spam some emotes. What would be appropriate? Well, this is the third game in a row that allowed my core 45 subscribers to show off, so give us some muscle. Muscles, guns, maybe a chainsaw, or maybe some fire, uh, or hockey. Hockey pucks. Yeah, electricity actually, I think, shows up. Uh, if I remember the movie well enough. And here we go, Clades doing the casual stroll to the right, which is honestly exactly what you would hope to see in an action game. Okay, so the first obstacle in this game is, for the players, is going to be uh, this uh, ledge. Uh, to get up to this ledge, you have to do a running jump, and because this is, was a spite pick, uh, I didn't give the players controls. Perfect! Uh, we are judging based off of whoever makes the most progress through the game, uh, correct? Starman uh, managed to uh, figure out how to do a running jump. I... And uh, the, the name of the game is a bit of a hint. I mean, it's Running Man. Running Man needs to do the running jump. Yep. <laughs> okay, Clades, meanwhile, is kicking a dog. Uh, so this is the second obstacle of the game that uh, Solomon is on, and uh, this one took me uh, 30 minutes to get past when I tested this game. Uh, this uh, ice jump has ice physics, and uh, you require two consecutive jumps for it. Uh, the first jump uh, needs to be a running jump. <laughs> this jump is... <laughs> wow. Amazing. I... Yeah, I'm not a lot for words about for just how bad this one jump is, but I'm certain that our players are going to have words about it. Oh, for sure. Uh, oh my gosh, here we go, Starman. <laughs> and you saw how it looked like uh, Starman landed on a jet ledge, but no, the ledge repelled him. Yeah, honestly, whenever you have precision platforming for an older console, you're not going to be in for a good time. I mean, this is a home computer, so... Like, I do like that there's some parallax scrolling. It's actually pretty impressive. Starman, again, dying to that jump. Not a big surprise. No, th this jump is horrible. <laughs> yeah, meanwhile, Clades is still fighting the dog and has not learned how to run. How do you run in this game? Uh, it's double tap. Yeah, that's completely understandable. I have to ask, though, did the Amiga use a joystick or did the controllers generally have a D-pad? Uh, joysticks were most common, but uh, you could 
put in joypads as well, but they were not common. I mean, it was uh, the same uh, port Woo! as the... It was the same port as the Mega Drive, but uh, I think either the Amiga or the Mega Drive explode horribly if you plug in a Genesis or a Mega Drive pad. Ah, uh, well, a message from our sponsors for Clay's. Uh oh. Uh, this is unskippable, by the way. This is an unskippable advertising cutscene that Clades has run into. Is there audio during the cutscene? Uh, no, it's just the same game music. Yeah. Uh, so I, I just let... Clades actually asked in Discord, am I supposed to be able to jump higher than this? The general rule for Cusa Grande when people ask it. questions... I got it. Oh, okay, there we go. General rule for Cusa Grande is that if somebody has figured something out and uh, the other players haven't, we do not spoil how to do that because sort of the puzzle solving element of this game is very important. Uh, now, yeah, well, well, when we get to, to those, uh, all the, the bosses in this game are puzzle bosses. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, to be fair, in or that really matches a lot of what happens in the movie as well. There are a lot of puzzles, uh, or every boss, quote-unquote, within the movie uh, had individual strengths and weaknesses, and really, uh, uh, Arnold just had to figure out, how do I manage to stay alive in order to get through this specific dude? How do I kill him and not get killed? Uh, the whole theme of the movie is that uh, you were sent or Arnold's character, whoever the crap he was, got sent to prison, but uh, it ended up like being a false conviction of sorts. He was framed. And so uh, during this specific dystopian future, they had a reality show, uh, uh, which they, this was before reality TV had been invented, but I'd say that uh, the game show is definitely a reality show in ways uh, that they could compete in order to try to uh, win money and get freed. However, if they lost, it was because they were brutally murdered within the show. Uh, and almost nobody would ever win. In fact, it was rigged who would end up winning any of the shows. Uh, and anyway yeah there there's some really interesting developments throughout so you know the the first enemy that he runs into uh within running man i believe is hockey boy who uh, uh is a little bit brutal how do you deal with a guy who can actually move fast on ice and you can't well, that's up to Arnold to figure out. It looks like Starman sort of made the first tricky ice jump, but slid off of it. Uh, yeah, because it's a series of two two jumps. Yeah, how do you even deal with this? Do you want to do a running jump to begin with, or you you, you have to do a running jump, but you have to jump uh, extremely soon, and it is just so evil because you need to double tap to run, and then you need to run as soon as possible. So you want to be. To the extreme left of the platform and to start running. Yeah, Clades was trying to jump over uh, both of the pits in a single jump, and that doesn't work. You just have to get as far left as you can, and as right after double jump or double tapping, jump. I can read you the lore as it is in the, the manual. Oh yeah, go for it. The year is 2019, and the USA has become a totalitarian state. Personal freedoms no longer exist, and only television distracts the people from their plight. One show is more popular than any other, The Running Man, a deadly cat-and-mouse carnival in which the contestants battle for the ultimate prize, survival. After refusing to fire on unarmed demonstrators, Ben Richards is wrongly convicted and labeled Butcher of Bakersfield. This is the start of a chain of events which led to him becoming the star runner on the running map. No contestant has ever won. All have perished within the game zone of a destroyed Los Angeles, hunted by, by four lethal stalkers. In tonight's show, Ben Richards must survive through his internet and expose the corrupt propaganda of the ICS network. 
Ben is launched into the game zone by Damon Killian, the host and inventor of the Running Man. By the way, promises... just looking at Clades, we are on to the boss. And Ooh. Starman is across as well. I'm sorry to interrupt lore, but this is an important development here. Unfortunately, the yeah. dog just bit Starman. Understandable. Yeah, and uh, the first boss doesn't have much of a puzzle element until you will see later. Uh, but uh, that is definitely a good lead for Clades. Oh yeah, uh, I would say that like the the story as written for this game changes a little bit of the story of the movie because there there definitely have been a couple winners in the past. Uh, and that's the only reason like some of the people are willing to be on this because if nobody had ever won, who the crap would want to go and assuredly die? Uh, not very many people would want to do that. But yeah, wrongly convicted. Uh, this is likely his quote unquote best way out of prison rather than uh, being there for life might as well try something uh, so yeah the the hero who uh, is played by Arnold Schwarzenegger ends up actually uh, murderizing quite a few of the dudes in this arena uh, not only that but he's not the only player within the movie to enter this arena he goes in with some others and they uh, while it can be a little competitive, they actually sort of strike alliances in order to uh, try to make more progress through this. And uh, that's that's definitely a good strategy, I would say, if your life is on the line. You know, Hunger Games strat, don't kill each other if you don't have to. Uh, Starman onto the boss with uh, quite a bit of health. But uh, the boss fires exploding hockey pucks, and you can't really dodge those. And there are, are dogs which can uh, appear during uh, uh, during the boss fight, and those are our RNG if the bo bo dogs decide to attack during the boss fights, which can be hugely annoying. And uh, Darman is actually doing inadvertently the exact right thing because there is a. Uh, Surprise trap after the boss, so where you want to be as far to do uh, go far to the right of this level as possible. Yeah, Chad is actually correcting me on the original story quite a bit as well because uh, the whole thing is that like this is entertainment because you're watching criminals die uh, on live national TV in th this game show. It's fun. Look at the cameraman over Starman. And on the bees, the bees. The bees. Is Starman through the first boss? Oh my gosh. Yes, and if you don't go to the goal, that will sap all your health. It's such a nasty trap. I oh, and here... love it. Okay, and so this is a puzzle stage, which is an I intermission like with scene. This is an interesting puzzle. I kind of dig this. Uh, not only that, but apparently uh, chat actually had a much better description of the people who quote unquote won before, uh, because I thought there were people who won, but I was misrem misremembering because they were all deep fakes. Uh, that were created in order to make prisoners think that they had a chance. <laughs> yeah, so pretty much, yeah, everybody who enters dies. Uh, it was rigged against Arnold all along. How could you rig it against my boy Arnold, huh? Uh, by the way, this uh, puzzle the scene, uh, if you don't beat this puzzle, you don't get any health back between levels. Yeah, I... This is a bit of a nightmare to deal with. I, I think that, uh, like, having to do that puzzle, seeing it for the first time and having no idea how to do it, that's a nightmare. Okay, New York. So, as far as I've been able to tell, but I, I only managed to reach stage three even when cheating, uh, there are no real environmental hazards uh, in the other levels that are anything like the jump on level one. Yeah, those uh, jumps were stupid. <laughs> I, 
I also love everybody in chat like shouting things that are from the advertisements within the game because there's like it, it, it's a or within the movie it uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say if you've have you ever seen an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie Donkey Clunk uh, some but not this one okay do you enjoy them well, the Terminator first two movies were kind of good. Okay. I, I feel like this is one that you should, like, at, yeah, give this one a watch. I, I feel like it's worth it. it. It is cheesy in some ways, but it's actually a very enjoyable watch. Oh, no, the Chainsaw Man coming after Starman Random. If I'm remembering correctly, the guy uh, with the chainsaw also like electrifies his chainsaw so it's like double trouble yeah and uh, in the game how it works is uh, that uh, he gains massive iframes on each attack and you don't have iframes yeah uh, so what so and he will counter every hit uh, so what you need to do is to attack uh, uh, dodge his counter and uh, uh, rinse and repeat yeah, that sounds about right. In general, uh, chainsaws are scary, and if somebody is trying to fight you while they are holding a chainsaw, you should probably go do something else. Don't let them use it against you. Uh, but to be fair, like... Heavy... I don't know if I would call it heavy machinery. It's, it's machinery anyways. It's just don't mess with machinery. Uh... I'm trying to remember, have I used a chainsaw? I don't think I've used one, but I've definitely carried chainsaws around. I get uncomfortable merely using a hedge trimmer. <laughs> snip, snip, snip. Uh, no, I, like, there were times where my father would cut down trees so that we had firewood, and he'd have me go with him, and usually I'd just sit there and watch, and then, like, when he needed somebody to try to carry the logs or the the pieces of wood back holy crap heavy but you know i'd do what i could okay so clays didn't move to the end of eleven, and here come the bees not the bees Arr. okay that dog sounded really goofy just listening on starman screen and See how much health uh, Clays is losing because of this uh, trap. Yeah, you've got to end the level, like, a little farther to the right, because if you don't, you're going to die. The bees! The bees! Yeah, uh... Here's the deal, chat. That is, I don't want to discuss too much about chainsaws on uh, organic beings. Let's just say that it doesn't matter if you can use a chainsaw for a long time. What matters is if it works for a very short amount of time, because if so, that's really all the reason you should be scared. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and here's Starman for forgetting the bees exist uh, and running through the same trap as Clade. Well, I, I think that Starman last time finished the level a little bit farther to the right, and because of that didn't have to deal with all of the bees there. But there we go, Starman, almost no health going on to the puzzle section. I don't... Ooh, th that what a clutch play. Yeah. Honestly, uh, what you prop... I think one of the... How would I even do this puzzle? I'm just trying to think uh, of the best way to approach it, and I don't know. I would probably have to do a little theory crafting in order to decide what the best approach for this puzzle is. Okay. Uh, it's a butt, though. Okay, very close to finishing for uh, Starman. Clades is dealing with the bees now. Unfortunately, not finishing the boss fight towards the right side of the screen is going to be another death for Clades. Uh, Starman is definitely in the lead. 
And let me just say, the, the players are kind of complaining about this game, especially Clades in Discord saying, I would like Cauldron 2 back. Uh-oh, Donkey uh, Kong. Hmm. And that, that's not even the worst game that I gave the Clades. Uh, that would have to be the baby of Kanguru. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I would rather play... I would rather play Cauldron 2 than the Kangaroo game. <laughs> Cauldron 2 is actually kind of fun. And, like, for the time, I would say it was a good game. Uh, oh my gosh, Starman managed to find an item that you can pick up. Uh, yeah, and uh, that is down on fire. Good to uh, click Starman and figure it out. Yeah, Clays is also saying, I don't have the words. Uh, I think I've got the words. At least this isn't squeaking. At least I can listen to this. And, like, I still have a headache from the last match. Like, legitimately an actual headache from the last match. Because I just... Uh, that's how my brain reacts to squeaking sounds. Uh, this music is so enjoyable comparatively. Like, this is freaking Beethoven compared to the last game. Okay, ah, Clay doing this right, running to the right and trying to not get hit while running. Absolutely. You're the running man, not the get slapped around by the, the hockey boy. And Starman uh, has also figured out that ducking is important in this, this boss battle, but hasn't managed to deal damage to the boss. Ah! The boss just stood there until Starman moved and then chainsaw to the face. I love it. Also, I, I think Clades is trying to, like, deal with one enemy at a time. I'm not sure if that is... You, you yeah, gotta do something. Yeah, the RNG from the dogs is terrible. Yeah, uh, can just... do the dogs just randomly spawn? Yes, they do. That's not nice. Also, everybody, standards for Commodore 64 and Amiga were a little bit different from the standards that we have for video games today. Uh, in general, like, oh my gosh. This had to have, like, sold for, like, five bucks, maybe. Five or ten bucks. Which might have been fine for the day. Uh, I'm glad that there were a lot of games released in that era that weren't like, hey, sixty dollars for this. Mm. At least I hope it's... that was the case for this game. N no, th this was uh, 25 pounds plus with inflation. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, no. That's too much. And it looks like Clades has an advertisement. How do you get the ads? Are they just random? Uh, from what I can tell, it's random, yeah. Not even letting Clades finish the level before popping an ad up. Recursioning, thank you for that sub. Yeah, but uh, this is a good opportunity for Clades because Starman, I haven't seen Starman actually doing damage to the boss and uh, uh, damage to the boss is progress. Yeah, let's see if Clades can figure out this puzzle at all. Like, I, I feel like if anybody can figure out this puzzle, they may actually be able to get a significant advantage. There's really no reason to not try it because you have to wait for the countdown anyway. And if you finish it before the countdown finishes, you get extra health and you finish early. Yeah, uh, it's the only way to do this fast to finish it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. Uh, I can turn off ads for subs, but I can't turn off ads within games. <laughs> With that said, I haven't seen Starman get a single ad yet. Everybody, I actually uh, uh, have to pay money to Twitch so that you don't get at so that I don't get ads during the match even though I'm partnered with Twi Ugh. everybody capitalism. Guess what? This game, as well as the movie it is based off, 
off of their their critiques on capitalism. Even yeah. though it made millions of dollars, baby. Yeah, same thing with Robocop. Uh, there's a lot of consumerism uh, attire in that one. Oh, yeah. It's... You know what? Uh, I, I think that it's fine for us to say that you can be a part of culture and still complain about it. You can still complain about the flaws of capitalism whilst making a million dollars. Like, I, I, I don't think that's necessarily contradictory. Maybe you should be Dolly Parton and uh, be so awesome that you're not a billionaire simply because you helped out with charity so much. Yeah, she's pretty amazing. Uh, but, you know, I, I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm going to critique capitalism as well because I have to pay money in order to host this tournament that is like my job. Imagine paying your employers, everybody. Pfft. Who would do that? Huh? Huh? Ooh, and Clay's discovering that if you get hit, you lose your weapon, but uh, Clay's doing damage to the boss. Oh, yeah. Oh, and this is the strat. Uh, Clay's found a strat, which is that you need to duck after hitting uh, Bassasaur. Oh my gosh, thank you so much uh, for the sub, Zanzibar. I almost said Zanzibar, but that would have been incorrect. Yeah, at this point, uh, do you think that Clay's has done more damage to the boss? Oh, Starman got a hit. Uh, yeah. And uh, has uh, almost a full health bar, but uh, doesn't uh, hasn't found a strat. Yeah, that still is a, a pretty good mark of progress uh, for both of the players learning how to deal damage to boss number two. Are we gonna see boss number three? Maybe. Also, the little bit of a yell earlier was because I ate something that is very hot. <laughs> mm. <laughs> My mouth. L Ow. That's a very similar amount of damage between the two players. Uh, if it, if the match were to end now, this would have to be a VOD review. Yeah. Yeah, at the very least, grabbing screenshots of the players, but we still have plenty of time left. Oh my gosh. Ooh, this looks good. Thank you so much, Justin. He brought me food. And we've got leftovers from this. Oh. Today's a magical day. Quick, quick, quick. Yeah. Wait, what was that? Uh, I'm going to blame that one on uh, Raw. It wasn't Raw, but I'm going to blame it on him. <laughs> okay, Raw? Uh, Carolyn in chat is pointing out that uh, it appears Starman has done more damage. Carolyn, I, I like to give you a shout out because you uh, do some neat things uh, that I've seen on social media before. I, I'm, I'm trying to remember if you write articles and such. Uh, and it's been kind of neat to see what you do. Oh my gosh, my... Also, my brain is so dead that my shout-out basically consists of, here's a shout-out. Oh, this is my life. <laughs> but let, let me go and make sure that I'm not, like, lying about anything. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, so both players uh, are finishing level one pretty consistently, but the run back is uh, pretty brutal, given that the game has no continues and uh, the bosses are puzzle bosses. Oh yeah, Carolyn writes over at uh, Kotaku, I believe, uh, and I, I've seen some of the articles that she's written about various uh, various topics within gaming, and she, she's pretty cool. So it's all I always uh, see you show up 
in Cusa Grande, but I don't always specifically point you out. But you've got some really interesting writing here, and I'm glad that you're able to come and enjoy sort of the more obscure side of video games every once in a while. Ha ha ha. I'm really glad that, like, a whole part of the UI in this game says Ben Stalker, so that we know who you are. And also the... Well, yeah. Stalker is uh, the boss HP. Oh, oh that's ben right, Stalker. Ben. Ben, you are Ben. Stalker is the enemy. What's your name in this game, Ben? Not ben Richards. Richards? Ben Richard. It's such a generic name. And I think that's part of the reason. Uh, honestly, uh, generic names are often used for characters that uh, you're supposed to sort of sub yourself in or uh, characters who are supposed to be the everyday man and... Uh, considering that, you know, Ben Richards had done nothing wrong, having a very, uh, like, innocent or everyday man name sort of shows that, like, whenever there are illusions in media, oftentimes the everyday man type is like, this could happen to anyone within um, a dystopia. So... <laughs> Sorry about that, but but Chad pointed out that uh, the book that was this was based on uh, is written under by Stephen King under a pseudonym. Correct. Uh, I know this was based on a book, but I didn't know. I that didn't know it was Stephen it. King either. Yeah, that's a variant interesting piece of information there uh stephen king has written some amazing books though richard bachman i suppose uh is the name there i actually didn't know stephen king had a fake persona but he wrote the running man thinner the regulators that sounds really boring uh but if it's stephen king it probably is good his books are amazing But yeah, uh, people did point out that Ben uh, is a very generic sounding name and to have him played by Arnold Schwarzenegger. It, it's weird that Arnold got cast in a lot of roles that, you know, would generally be a very generic type of person, but suddenly it's Arnold. And we have simultaneous game overs. A great sync, but I don't think any, either of the players uh, did more damage in the previous attempt. True, both of the players are starting to get used to this, and I'm seeing less complaining about the game now that they know how to get through uh, the various areas. Oh, and by the way, Chad is pointing out that Stephen King used an alias to prove that people bought his books because of the quality of the writing and not the person behind the books. And I like that. Uh, and apparently Bachman was for stuff that was a lot uh, darker. What the crap? He puts that under his pseudonym, but not Carrie? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe for more experimental stuff. I wouldn't say darker per se. Considering Pet Cemetery was under his original name, I'm gonna say that maybe he was lying. Carrie was his first book. Well, how do you get darker than Carrie? Sorry, Stephen King. I don't think you managed to do it. I have my older sister. Uh, we we talked about this during the GDQ hot fix as well when I raised her because calling her by uh, uh, Essentia is a little bit weird and you know her her name is Carrie and every once in a while we'd kind of make fun of her and go they're all gonna laugh at you <laughs> I love it here's the deal like I'm all for Stephen King as long as it's not the Langoliers okay that that's sort of my opinion like some of the, some of the movies uh, like Pet Cemetery is super cheesy. Pet Cemetery is so freaking cheesy. I I remember it being terrifying when I was young, but that's because I was a kid and probably shouldn't have been watching it. <laughs> 
Somebody is saying Langoliers is a great book and forget the movie. The movie is, well, I guess it was more a TV series. It's so long. Do not watch the Langoliers. Oh no, Starman's getting shot by the bees. The bees. I mean, bees are gonna happen, you know? I, the amount of like actual horror movies I saw as a kid, it's kind of shocking. Like even the TV edits that they'd have, like I feel like editing for TV actually didn't remove the stuff that was traumatizing. Sure, maybe it didn't see somebody's head get chopped off, but what about all the other stuff, huh? The bathroom full of balloons that when the balloons popped, they had blood inside and blood splattered all over the place. Uh, I am... Uh, horror is just not for me. I... I don't really care for jump scares, but I actually uh, really enjoy a lot of horror. I also enjoy horror parodies. Those are a lot of fun for me. Uh, Kaiser in chat is saying they grew up on Friday the 13th, Elm Street, and Amityville. See, I haven't seen any Elm Street or Amityville. Uh, no, I saw Amityville. That one's pretty cheesy as well, I gotta be honest. Uh, but, yeah, I didn't grow up with those. I grew up with a lot of other things. Uh, I grew up with a lot of Arnold Schwarzenegger action movies, a lot of horror that was on TV, but that probably kids shouldn't be watching anyway, because as it turns out, sort of the psychological horror uh, is oftentimes not people being chopped in half. It might be the, the family trauma, and that is sometimes a little bit worse than the horror that they have on TV, or they have elsewhere, you know? <laughs> Okay, uh, Starman actually has sort of a blessed pattern here and with some decent gameplay, may be able to get this puzzle solved. Unfortunately, not yeah, enough that, time. That... No, Starman beat it. Uh, you see that oh, Starman's yeah, life Starman refilled. Did. It... Oh my gosh, that's great. Uh, yeah, that was huge. Uh, puzzle RNG to get so many. There were, there were like five icons that were the same which makes it a lot easier to solve. So... Wow. By the way, I'm looking at uh, the TV series, The Langoliers. Apparently it was only two parts and it was only three hours. It definitely felt as long as Lord of the Rings. It is so freaking boring. Tades, has this boss on a good pattern? Ooh, th uh, this is a lead for plates here. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, throwing a brick. You know what? Brick to the head. Pretty efficient way of fighting Stalker, I'd say. But that is definitely a lead. Do the bees show up when you kill him too? Uh, only level one. The level one has uh, <laughs> by far the worst traps and the worst decisions. This game fr front loads his crap. Yeah. Uh, you know what? It's interesting. People are saying that horror is something that they can read but not watch. I actually, like, unless it's done really well, I find a lot of horror pretty cheesy. And even if it is done well, like, I'm a huge fan of practical effects and being like, oh my gosh, how did they do this? Uh, there's a lot of really neat stuff that Hollywood does. And the Starman with a bit also discovered the brick strats, but uh, the boss isn't allowing uh, Starman to throw the brick. Well, and you lose your weapon every time you take a hit. I mean, a good thing to do is to duck until like the boss runs past you, and then prepare to throw. There we go, like that. Starman, I, I think Starman is getting it. And f does ducking actually make you not? No, the dog can still sometimes get you. Well, that's right. yeah. Th th that is dog RNG. I don't like dog RNG in this game. Dog RNG is normally okay. Ah! 
Uh, so, in uh, this boss, you have to find one brick in the level, because this boss is completely invulnerable to anything ex except the brick. And uh, Clades didn't pick up the brick, uh, which is well hidden in the background, because it's a brick. Uh, so this is a... Uh, Clades can't do anything right now. I love it. This is so dumb. It is. I'm I'm actually really glad this exists because it, it is an amazing Clades is a little bit surprised. What happened? Did Clades get run over? Yeah, Clades got run over by a truck. Oh. But uh, did see the brick. Do you have to throw the brick at the truck? No, you have to uh, throw the brick at a boss and uh, oh. You have to jump uh, when the car, when the tr when the deathmobile comes. Uh, even though it looks like you can't uh, uh, clear it at all, but it's jumping you need to do. Okay. <laughs> I love that, like, chat is now realizing that this game is not good. Uh, yeah, yeah, as it turns out, this is a bad video game tournament. Uh, and honestly, we use the word bad endearingly because bad doesn't mean unfun. Honestly, though, I think that this game is probably frustrating for a lot of people. Oh, I know how to solve this, the rest of this for Starman. You almost got it. Yeah, full refill. Ooh, and Starman also on to level three. So I looked uh, but... up Running Man on Google, and the film isn't the first thing to show up. Instead, it's the South Korean TV series that I do not think has literally anything to do with our version of Running Man. It looks like a very happy family, and I'm happy for them. Well, Running Man and uh, Squid Game, it's similar concepts, if you think about it. Well, n look, it's not Squid Game. They're a very happy family, and it's a variety show in an urban environment. Okay? It's not the same. They're not not everything from South Korea is Squid Game. Or is it? Hey, it looks like, unfortunately, Starman is having to deal with the operatic... Oh, this is the person who uh, uses electricity. They have a tank, they sing, they sh shoot electricity at you. This is... Starman sees the brick. Yeah. If Starman, if Starman can pick up the brick and use the brick, then that is a lead. So how do you deal with the vehicle? Uh, jump over it, even though it looks like you can't. Okay, I, I was wondering if there would be a possibility of doing that. Okay. And that's damage. That's damage for Salman. Salman is, is in the lead. That is a lead. By the way, the bars at the very bottom of the screen, you'll see that three of them are red for Starman and two are not red. That essentially is just showing which stage you're on. We are on stage three. And there we go. Starman has taken the lead again. Uh, and yeah, I do believe that... Oh, let me see. What are, what are the names of the villains here? Uh, uh, first... First uh, villain is Sub Zero. Oh yeah, Professor Sub Zero. Uh, okay, interesting. And then we also had. Let's see, Buzzsaw is the second one. Dynamo was the third person in it, played by Erlen Van Lit I. I don't know. Uh, but they were a Dutch-American actor, opera singer, and amateur wrestler, which is pretty much the most bizarre combination of things that made them a perfect role. For the... Like, it's almost like the role was written for uh, Erland. Like, let's be real here. And honestly, Stephen King actually did write roles for some specific people. When writing Misery, for example, uh, Stephen King actually said that he had Kathy Bates in mind as the person playing the uh, the woman in the movie. And she starred, and it was perfect. Like, nobody other than Kathy Bates could have been that character. Must confess, that's not one I've seen. 
Misery is really, really good. I love it. The book, I actually think, like, here's the deal. Everybody knows the hammer scene. It's different in the book. And I actually think that the movie version is better. Uh, so this one, unfortunately, not uh, much to talk about uh, because the players are just uh, running back, trying to get back to uh, level three. <laughs> yeah. Woo. And that's completely fine. But yeah, uh, I'm really glad to know that this story was a Stephen King story because that just like makes everything a whole lot better for me. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say Misery, worth a watch. Uh, the book, really good, but the things that they changed from the book to the movie, I actually feel improved it a little bit. I, I feel like they're about on the same level, honestly. The movie is really, really good. Uh, chat has an interesting point, uh, saying that misery is a perfect trait to cons parasocial relationships and fandom. Oh yeah! I actually don't, like, here's the deal. Uh, one thing that I generally keep in mind is that, uh, in every group of a hundred people, there's usually that one person. And you want to be able to spot that one person and get them out of your community. Otherwise, it's gonna be problematic. When there's a fandom with millions of fans, remember, it's one out of a hundred, so now you've got 10,000 of that one person. Uh, so, like, fandoms are a lot more difficult to control when it comes to that one person because there are a lot more of them yeah toxic elements tend to bring everyone around them uh, down with them if yep. they're allowed to be free that's something that we've done a lot in the kusa grande community uh where we have identified that one person and essentially it's like mods if you see that one person ban them like that's you you're you're doing a... Mods, honestly, are way underappreciated, but that's sort of what makes uh, most Twitch channels actually function well. It's the mods, and it's, it's a huge... I really, really help. Y help? Thank you. I'm really, really glad. Thank you for helping. That one. Yeah, thank you. Uh... Yell, if you think you are that one person who is a little bit too obsessed with something, then you can change. You can stop doing that. Stop being creepy. And then life will be better. Uh, but oftentimes that one person uh, is not going to listen to that and do not consider themselves that one person. Uh, so I honestly think that it for 99% of the people watching this, if you feel like uh, you are like in a parasocial relationship, I don't think it's necessarily problematic. Just don't be that one person who is like, yeah, let me go ahead and break your legs so that you can stay at my house because I love you. Don't break my legs, that's what I'm asking. Don't make me listen to rubber balloons and don't break my legs, okay? And if you avoid doing those two things, I think that you can consider me a friend. I bear that in mind. <laughs> okay, thank you, Dr. Clonk. I really appreciate that. Uh, both players on to level three. Yeah, everybody. Uh, if you do bring balloons, you may you are allowed to bring mylar balloons. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say those are allowed. Other balloons. No, do not bring them. Like, I, I'm usually fine with them existing, but I know they're going to squeak. And then, as soon as they squeak, I'm going to be very angry.
and the uh, clade's having a bad time just getting past uh, the boss uh, which you need to do to pick up the brick which is the only thing that can damage this boss but clade does know about no i don't think clade has done damage but uh, clade does pick up the brick And you can get stunned up pretty easily on every single boss that you're fighting, which we were uh, kind of seen uh, on the other uh, fights, uh, because you don't have any iframes and the bosses do. Yeah. It plays doing damage, but uh, still not Ooh. doing as much damage as Starman's best attempt. Still, Clades managed to get a health refill before dying, and that definitely is helpful. Oh, and Clades' uh, brick fell, up, flew off to the uh, left. Oh well, my gosh. This... <laughs> what a time! A message from our sponsor to both of them! Why? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this game is fantastic. Uh, uh, Conan was the one who tested this for me, and he said uh, th that this <laughs> ga game has ideas, uh, just no good ones. <laughs> Glades is typing in Discord, why the ad break? Why then? Everybody, welcome to Cuso Grande, the bad video game tournament. Uh... Oh my gosh, not only that, but Starman also had an ad at the same time. But Starman Ooh. wasn't about to be run over and killed by a vehicle. <laughs> St uh, Starman doing great damage, but the brick seems to be gone. Are you able to hurt him in any other way? Oh no, Starman had the brick. Ooh, Starman defeats uh, the boss. Starman uh, is Dynamo. into level four, maybe if Starman can survive this last little run to the right. This will be a huge amount of progress. Remember, whoever loses this match gets eliminated from the tournament this year. Uh, so it's actually a, the stakes on this way too high, but they're they're high, they're high. <laughs> Yeah, I've been kind of mean to Clades with regard to uh, the games I've chosen, but uh, Clades has also made it so far into the brackets that I have to pull out uh, the bracket where the games, and this is definitely one of them. Yeah. Yeah. I am actually very much enjoying this match, though. Like, this is a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, this game is interestingly bad. Linkara, thank you so much for clipping that moment because that was amazing. And something that I wouldn't have seen coming. But I probably should have. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. yeah. Ooh, yeah. I was wondering how long it would take uh, for the for the foreground to be a factor in uh, annoying you. And apparently, this stage is the stage where it starts becoming a problem. Ooh, unfortunately, Ben is dead. That's it for that specific attempt. Starman, though, is still in the lead, having made it to the fourth stage. You said you haven't seen the fourth stage then? Uh, no, I didn't, even though I saved state she cheated. I love that. Uh, honestly, it's not too surprising. The people playing here, they made it to the bracket for a reason. Even if they lost the first match of the bracket, like, it still is a lot of work to get here. So the boss that uh, has a jackpack and throws fireballs, that boss is called Fireball. Oh, who would have guessed? <laughs> My name's Fireball, and, I throw Fireball. 
And dang it, I totally forgot to do a Sub-Zero wins fatality pun earlier. <laughs> I'm looking at other things that this company made, by the way. They made uh, versions of Moonwalker for DOS, Amiga, Atari ST. I don't know if we've had that version of Moonwalker because it looks significantly different. But heck yeah, they did a game called If It Moves, Shoot It! Wait, Moonwalker, the the Kuzo Grande Finals Mo Moonwalker? It may have been. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely, where Michael Jackson turns into a skeleton as you take damage. Yeah, that one. So, yeah, yeah we, we that, definitely... that was the Finals more than one. Yeah, we had that. Uh... But yeah, they, they have a few uh, games uh, in their history and at least a couple games that have made it back or into Cusa Grande before. It, I suppose, was only a matter of time before we saw this. It took a few years, but here we go. Clay, it's currently on the second stage. Uh, luckily, Clay pretty much has this boss down. It's not too big of a deal. Yeah, as I said, all the bosses are parcel bosses, which means that if you find the... If you solve the parcel, you can usually get back to them pretty easily, unless you get dogged. Yeah, the dog is a pretty big RNG troll. But at the same time, if you learn how to not take damage from the boss themselves, the dog... You, you can sort of just tank a little bit of damage and it's not a big deal. There you go, Clades on to the third stage. If Clades can beat this level, then he has a chance to move back into the lead. Uh, uh, Clades, does, Clades needs to do damage to the stage four boss though, because uh, Starman saw the boss first. Well, yes, yes, for sure. But there could still be a lead change. There is hope. Starman back on the stage two. Oh my gosh. Like, I don't know who's going to win. Been going with the jumping. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not too surprised. Considering that they only require really good platforming in one specific location on stage one. Ah, uh, yeah. You might not get it down for later stages. You don't have to be perfect in order to survive at this point. And, yeah, and input lag is a thing. It's really a thing. Yeah, having to adjust for input lag for, like, an Amiga game, probably a game that, like, you never would have played otherwise. Uh, yeah, they're... they're like, considering how long it takes you to turn around in this game, I'm not too surprised that input lag is a big problem. I'm actually really impressed by the artists of this game. Like, this game looks really cool. I love the sprite work in the background, the, the multiple layers scrolling. I feel like that was probably to the detriment of the game, though, and not really something that helped it out. Uh... Mostly because, you know, the gameplay itself needed to be better than the graphics. Oh my gosh! Clades, you can do this! Oh, the car! No! Don't get an ad! Please! Oh, laser to the face. I. There we go. Clades jumping over the car. That ended up yeah, working. Uh, yeah, it, uh, you don't think the jumping would help with that because you, your jump is so low, but... It does. That's what you're supposed to do. Oh, yeah. Where'd the brick go? Where's the brick? Oh, no. Is the brick gone for Clades? I don't see it anywhere. I don't know. Uh, oh, uh, there it is to the right. But, oh, uh, yeah. Clades would need to go through the, through, the, through the boss. Yeah, unfortunately, this boss can also shoot lasers down towards the ground. And that can be a yeah, bit of a problem. On, 
Yeah, uh, and uh, this boss Dynamo will shoot low if you're crouching, so you uh, have to bait out uh, the shot and then uh, adjust to it. Yeah, unfortunately the dogs are a bit of a problem here. And now Maybe. a message from our sponsors, everybody. We don't need to play video games. Let's listen to ads. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, the amount of time that it takes you to turn around in this game is a bit annoying uh, and definitely is one of the contributors to the lag here. Like... Yeah, yeah, and when you take hits, Arnold Schwarzenegger have taken flying lessons uh, in knockback from Ryu Hay Hayabusa. <laughs> what dog RNG for, for plates also, as as well as the ad uh, RNG. Yeah, we've gotten some really cruel RNG for Clades lately. Oh, is that death? That is it. Clades cannot get back into this at this point. It is too late. That is definitely the last attempt for Clades, and I would say pretty much GG. But we'll let Starman keep playing for the last minute. Yeah. Although... This boss takes time because uh, you have to t throw the brick for every single hit. And now we have the boss walking uh, with a nice casual stroll along with our uh, Arnold. They're just friends, you know? Yeah. Yeah, a nice casual stroll. There we go. We got the spike bat. Oh my gosh, what a game. What a game this has been. Not a good game, but certainly a game that... Yeah, the, this bat, I don't think Clades ever really tried using the bat, which is understandable because it's a close-range melee. Uh, and the brick yeah, just I... seems a lot safer. Mm, the, 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 the bat might be... Yeah, it's definitely going faster with a bat. Indeed. Well, that, my friends, is what we call time. <laughs> what an amazing display of a video game that was made. And now it's time for the frog to spin. I, I enjoy the frog showing up and spinning every time. So let me go ahead and warp welcome them in. Hello, Starman. Let me see if I can welcome Clades in as well. Okay, there we go. Hello, Starman. Hello, Clades, and congratulations on surviving this... Well, sort of surviving this game. Holy crap. It's bad. Oh. It's very bad. I hate them. I, well, I hate them the most was the time-wasting minigame, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, I, I got it twice, and it's like, there's no point. There's always a health, health kit on the way to the next boss. I mean... Why why is it there? Yeah, was there a health kit on stage two? Yes. yes. Yeah, there was. Yeah. Okay, I missed that. Uh, there... Yeah, that's oh. a little bit cruel. I'd say, like, the only point is would be if you are low on health uh, and one hit could kill you, uh, healing so that a random dog doesn't kill you before you get to the health kit would be worth it. Otherwise, uh, it's just saving time if you can complete the puzzle. But that puzzle was hard. Yeah, I, I don't know why it was there. I don't know why it was that hard. I, uh, I don't know. You would think double tap would run, right? In a modern game, double tap would run. No, you have to tap the direction again in the middle of walking and then hold it. Yeah. It's... Uh, and then to stop, you have to completely let go and let him stop or crouch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Donkey Klonk was definitely or saying that there was input lag, and I think it's largely due to them trying to make the animation a little bit smoother. Uh, they shouldn't have, really. They shouldn't have. They shouldn't have. 
yeah, so let me go ahead and tell you, Starman took the victory today. Uh, Starman managed to make it to, uh, what was it, stage four? Yeah, stage I saw four. the stage four boss. Yeah, not very, f yeah, the boss killed you really quickly, but uh, Clayton, you were getting really close there on your last attempt against the boss, uh, but then an ad played, and then the dog showed up, and then, oh. So many dogs. One thing this game has taught me is that if you kick a dog in the face, you will regain health. I mean, that's, that's helpful. Good, it's good information for everyday life. Do not use that in everyday life, everybody. That is not how life works, okay? I'm going to go the ahead and thing, say that. The fun thing I learned is you could, in most cases, just crawl right past them. Yeah, you can yeah, try that, Chad. And I even saw you taking a nice casual stroll alongside the stage free boss right at the end. Oh my gosh, that <laughs> I, was hilarious. Yeah. I, was, I, I sat there and realized, hey, this guy only attacks if he's just... Just enough away from you. We could go on a nice little stroll hill. Plates, they chat. walked for like 20 seconds. I'm not even kidding. It was a yeah, long I had the walk. Same, I had the same thing happen when I was trying, I was like desperately trying to find another brick because of course mine went off screen and was gone because the car showed up. Why did they have a car? Are they have How it in they the movie. How did they get in the car so fast? Got it I, in the movie. The, the, the other thing I learned about that boss after the first time I killed it was like, don't bother with the bricks. There's a bat there. Just pick up the bat. Hit it with the bat. <laughs> the bat was a lot more useful. I agree. Uh, I, I did not get far enough to the right to find the bat. I don't you think. passed it. I passed it. Ah! You passed the bat. Uh, honestly, ah. like uh, the biggest advantage is that you don't have to move and pick it up every single time. You whack, you duck, you whack, you duck. Uh, yeah, you have to do a little bit of uh, horizontal realignment because the boss gets right out of your whacking range, but uh, it seemed to be a lot easier to get hits than with the brick. Uh, yeah. Who puts attack as hold, fire, and press up? And I know the answer is a lot of other old game computer game developers, but why? Hold, fire, and you press up? You have a whole keyboard. There's yeah, a whole you have to... keyboard. Everything, every, every action you can do in this game has been um, context sensitive. Oh, yeah, if you, no. Uh, so the kick was hold fire and press left or right. The punch or using the weapon you're holding was hold fire, press up. Picking things up was hold down, press fire. And if you just pressed fire on its own, I don't think it did anything. Well, it should. What about throw? And then, of course, up to jump. Up to jump. Okay, so... Uh, I could see you accidentally jumping a whole bunch because, oops, you were trying to punch, but yes. then you uh, got the order wrong. You didn't hold the button and press up. You tapped the button and then pressed up, or you because pressed up and then were, pushed the button. Yeah. If you were trying to throw the brick from crouching, or probably the pipe too, if you were trying to attack out of crouch and you pressed the button too soon, you would drop your weapon on the floor. The, the, uh, no. the fun thing was... The fun thing I figured out was, is because of the input lag, as you're coming out of a crouch, if you're holding up in like the right or left direction button and like hold the butt of the attack button, it will go off. You. This sounds it, like a nightmare. Like, it, it was the most reliable way to attack. I don't think I quite got that one down, but. Yeah, here's and the why deal. The like, ads. The ads. Oh my gosh, Clades. The best moment, we got a double ad from you and from Starman, but it was right before you died that the ad popped up and the car was on the <laughs> screen and it was very clear that you were trying to evade the car, but no, an ad shows up. <laughs> yeah, that was hopeless. Honestly, having seen the movie, I sort of understand why they put ads in there uh, because it's a very... Uh, very big critique on modern day capitalism. It, it like the movie I think is fantastic. Everybody should watch the movie at some point. It's very cheesy, but it's honestly a good cheesy. Uh, with that said, Starman, you definitely took the victory here. And uh, honestly, like I, I think this game, it looked really bad to play. However, I feel like we didn't quite understand how context sensitive everything was, which means like if it looks bad to play, then that means it's really bad to play. 
Like, yeah, and uh, yeah. I didn't give the player's controls. I deliberately cut the section out of the manual because it's brackets. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. I, I remember I was trying to jump on that first ledge for probably two minutes. At, or at least. Yeah, that was It's a funny. running man. Yeah. Well, running man gotta run. But at the same time, I don't... I don't know. There are a lot of games and where you just do a casual stroll anyway. I found the run by accident. It's like, wait, what was that? That's that's roughly how I found it early, too. <laughs> yeah, it's... Well, that's understandable. But with that said, you have probably... There are a lot of bad video games based off of Arnold Schwarzenegger movies, and I feel like this might be one of the worst I have seen. Uh, which is a tall order, and I'm really glad that you got to experience at least the the depths that movie-based games can go. Uh, Clades, I'm sad to say you are eliminated from Cusa Grande. You made it to the brackets, though, and you really put in a good effort. I gotta ask, do you have any last words for your tombstone? Uh, let's go with, at least I was awake this time. At least I was awake this time. Oh, no! <laughs> I remember last time I disqualified because I slipped through my match. <laughs> well, you don't want to do that. No. <laughs> I, I like that. At least I was awake this time. Good. Good. Good tombstone. Uh, with that said, I have to ask, Clades, are you streaming anything these days? No, I'm not. I have not gotten into streaming. Oh, that's fine. I'm glad that you show up here, uh... How did actually? I feel like you are, you have been around for ages. How, how, when when did you first like show up and start watching? Where where are you from? How did you get into all of this mess? I got here from watching the. I think it was the Cuso Grande Four Invitational. Oh, over and on the then, GQ channel. Yeah. Yeah, and then I started participating in Cuso Grande Six. Oh, cool. Well, good. Like, I don't know why. I feel like. Maybe it's just my imagination, but it feels like you have been around forever. But I guess, I guess well, forever. Well, is subjective. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Well, good. I'm seriously great job making it to the brackets. Uh, did you make it to the brackets last year as well? I did, and I, like I said, slept through my losers round. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I'm glad that you didn't do that this year. So good job, uh, Starman. What about you? Are you streaming anything these days? Uh, I may be streaming on and off for Enterprise practice and matches, but those will probably go to a different channel. Um, That's fair. Other than that, I occasionally show up on Okami of Gains Retro Book Club. Yeah, that I'm really glad I joined one time. Uh, I might have to do it again when I have a Friday that's free. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I very much enjoyed Okami's show that uh, they're running over there. Well, I still remember the very first game I ever gave out for it. What game? Young Merlin. I've never played that. For better or for worse, I have never played Young Merlin. And maybe I'll have to give it a shot one day. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Donkey Clunk, let, let's go ahead and ask you as well if you're doing any fun game projects. I know that you had been making pinball tables before. Anything fun going on right now? And no, and it's kind of frustrating that I can't uh, find uh, an artist to finish up uh, the furry trash uh, pinball because that is so close to being completed. Y'all, if you are a furry trash artist, please reach out uh, to Donkey Clonk. <laughs> uh, Though it's a graphic design uh, more than a art character art thing, I oh, need... Oh, right, uh, more uh, like uh, backgrounds and stuff. Yeah, I need a background. If you are a background artist, reach out to Donkey Clonk. Uh, it, it's a really cool looking pinball table, but uh, definitely sort of the more environmental art has been a bit hard to come by. So uh, please do. Uh, Donkey Clonk would definitely want to talk to you. Other than that, I think we are done with the stream for today and for this weekend. Thank you everybody for coming out, supporting Cuso Grande. Thank you to all the subs and those who help me stay financially stable as well as give out over $2,000 worth of prizes. 
trust me, that's actually a pretty hefty part, or a hefty piece of the wallet, so everything that people do to support the stream goes a long way. Now, it's time for us to raid somebody, and I don't know who to raid. Who are we gonna raid? That, uh, the raid message has to be in now, a message for our sponsors. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Girthy wallet? No, my wallet does not have much girth chat. Stop saying girth. You do not need to say girth anymore. My gosh. You know what? JC is doing Battletoad speedrun attempts. Uh, he's got a lot of people watching, and I feel like we should probably go and give him some support. So let's go ahead. Yeah, thank you to all the volunteers, all the GMs. Uh, and now a message from our sponsor. And you can put like an e like an emoji or emo or whatever they're called after that. My brain's dead. Go share the message from our sponsor and it could be butts. It's probably butts. I like butts. If I'm your sponsor, it's butts. Okay, have a good time. See you later, Starman. Later. Bye, Clades. Later. Bye, Donkey Clock. Donkey Clock just leaves. 